Hello, this is Ruby Romana. Thanks for having a reading with me. How can I help you? Hello, lovely ladies and gorgeous gentlemen. My name is Ruby Romana and you can find me at rubyromana.com. And welcome to this timeless pick a card reading. Now, the glaringly obvious question for this timeless pick a card reading is, is she my soulmate? So is she my soulmate or is he my soulmate? All I need for you to do as the viewer and the participant in this reading, which card do you feel the most drawn to? Which card compels you towards it the most? Is it card one or is it card two? Do you want to pick the card on the right hand side or do you want to pick the card on the left hand side? Okay, so really focus on which card you feel that you want to choose. It's quite easily, quite easy to do. It's, it's easily done, just, just whichever one you feel the most drawn to. Okay, right, so keep focusing and whatever card you may choose is the card destiny has for you. No matter the answer, yes or no, the message that's given is your lucky throw. Card number one on the left is no. Okay, so we've got here a card that shows karma and the card that I've lifted up from it is a card that's all about spiritual growth. Okay, so is this person your soulmate? Is she your soulmate? Is he your soulmate? Unfortunately, no, they're not quite your soulmate, but this person is still a very special person. Um, so it's not somebody that you need to dismiss. It's as though the universe is saying that this person's come to your life because there's something important that they need to teach you and vice versa, because obviously, you're also the teacher, let's just say as well. So perhaps there's some kind of vibration that uh, you've uh, emitted, that you've been kind of a frequency that you've been on and a frequency that this person has been on as well. OK, so there's just something that you need to both learn from each other, some kind of lesson. Life is like that, isn't it? Life's all about lessons, etc. So there is a reason why you're connecting with this person at the moment. But on a, a deeper soulmate level, it's as though there's not quite a meeting of all the things that you need for a soulmate. So there isn't necessarily a meeting of, you know, of heart, mind and soul. Perhaps there's a meeting of, I don't know, perhaps heart and mind, but not soul or one of those three things or a couple of those elements are are perhaps missing. But nevertheless, this person has come to your life in some kind of karmic way. Karmically, you've attracted them and karmically, they've attracted you to themselves because you've both got an important lesson to teach each other, a way for you both to, you know, to expand, to grow spiritually. So there you go. Okay. So, if you chose the no card, if you chose the karma card, please don't think for one moment that, um, you know, that you need to kind of um, eliminate this person from your life. You don't need to do that. You don't need to kind of uh, break all ties, cut all ties, etc. This person could become a really good friend. But on a soulmate level, I would say that it's more to do with a lesson that you will learn. OK, so let's put that card to the side. And now for card number two, the card on the right. Right, let me just cover that one back up again for the time being. Where's my tab? I can't find it now. OK. Yes, card number two is a resounding yes. And let's see, Let's. this is the card I've just lifted off 
from it. So if you chose the card on the right, if you chose this card here, then this person really is your soulmate. This person is your companion. This person is your true friend. It's almost as though they're kind of like, how can I put it? They're almost like they're the perfect lover, your best friend and your companion all in one. So, you know, you could kind of get three for one, <laughs> so to speak. So, so yes, yeah, so this is real. These feelings that you have for this person are completely mutual. They're reciprocated. They're returned. There's a, a true compatibility between you both. And also, you know, we had the karma card that came up for, for the no. But in a way, when somebody is your soulmate, it's still a karmic relationship, obviously. But it, it, it's, a, it's deeper. You've got all three of those elements that I, I talked about at, it was our heart, soul and mind, something like that, wasn't it? So this person you've got a real connection to and this person feels exactly the same way about you. So you mustn't be worrying, you know, you mustn't worry about the fact that are they my soulmate? Because they really are and you are their soulmate. It's a, uh, This is meant to be and this is a relationship that's going to have longevity. It's going to stand the test of time. So there you go. Right, so let me just do that. Okay, but remember that if you chose the karma card, if you chose the no card, nevertheless, there's still something important that you uh, need to learn from each other. So it's not a throwaway relationship by any means of the word. Okay, so that's uh, the is she he my soulmate? Is she my soulmate? Is he my soulmate? I hope you enjoyed it. Now, please give this reading the thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please uh, like all that good stuff. Please comment. And if you're looking for love, by the way, head on over to rubyromana.com because there's lots of resources on my website, which will, you know, can actually put you in the right direction of love. So if you could chose the no card, then love's still going to find its way to you. Okay, thank you very much, lovely ladies and gorgeous gentlemen, for watching this is Shahi, my soulmate. Bye for now.